Hey everybody, good afternoon. You find us local here, local in Angus today at Bodden Point. Yes, my favourite spot to come to, just up road. So I can see there's a couple of people down there today. Um, there's Lunan Bay behind me. But anyway, we're going to Elephant Rock today. I'm going to get underneath the Elephant Rock because the tide's going out. And just go for a wee uh, afternoon stroll, folks, just to get out of the house to get some air on a Sunday. So, here we go. Nothing else for you today. That's what the wind's going. I don't know if you can actually get the full scale um, off this rock. It's actually huge. When you walk down, yeah, it looks big, but it's actually massive. Two, uh, two arches you can walk under when the tide's out, obviously. So the tide is just on its way out at the moment. And folks, right underneath the, uh, the trunk bit, there's the trunk bit right behind me, the big arch, and then the uh, trunk. That's where it was just a minute ago to stop down there. When you walk in, this is where you walk up there. But I'm going to try and just climb up that little bit there. It's just to say I've actually sat underneath the actual trunk. Right, made out folks. That was a fine wee explore. Love Elephant Rock. But you can get right across the top. But, not quite that far yet. But it took me halfway along it and then kind of bottomed out so it's really narrow. It was a helping gale that day. So it wasn't, uh, you can climb up the first bit. If you're uh, dead in enough. things folks in a lockdown or if you call it a wee day out a couple of hours out back to the car for a cup of coffee and then home well like i did the other day went for a cycle a couple of cycle from work and then uh, that was a wee trip out that day and then yesterday um you've probably seen on last week's video had uh, just a nice little walk around the harbour at night after work which was fine so all these little things folks that keep you sane so uh, that's my recommendation. Always get out of the house for an hour if you can, or longer if you can too. Right. The sun. I'm going to say a quick hello to Dad while we're here. Now we do have a stone up here, but it's kind of blew away, folks, in the storms. 
so I need to get another one. But it's just beside George Ramsey's grave here. Just here, his ashes were scattered here, folks, over the side. Oh, there's people down there. Where I was. There you go, Dad. Hope you're enjoying your view today. Right, quick uh, cup of coffee, folks. So the train goes past. Then it's off to wash my car. Need to go to Liddles, need to go to Morrison's. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Lunan Bay, Lunan Bay, in the rain, in the cold, for a walk in the afternoon. Why not, folks? Why not? The things you do for content, folks. Cups of water, love. Oh, you can hear me way up there. I put the mic on now, folks. I was getting a bit windy. Oh, hang on. Move! Where'd that come from? Right, I was going to say, there's the arch. You can actually see the arch now. Look, there it is, there, folks. The Lunar Bay Arch. So we're here at Kiri Muir this morning, folks, and you've always got to start with a wee visit to Bon Scott statue. Here it is, right in front of me. Folks, it is Bon Scott. It's not involved, are you? So it is, folks. They have a Bond Fest every year in Kiri Muir. Not happened this year, obviously, because of the COVID. But uh, hopefully next year. It's always good to come actually just for a nosy when Bond Fest is on because uh, good atmosphere in the town. Right, so today we're just going to have a wander around Kirimia. We're going to go a different way up the hill this time and round via the moon and then round into the town. Right, have to go back to the car because guess what? I've got my mask. Should be a habit my life, but no, forgot again. So up here, folks, is one of the most unusual street names in Scotland. It's called the Moon, which is just over here. There it is, the Moon. There's a wee plaque up here. I'm just going to have a quick look at as well. Presence of the late Sir James Barry. Novelist and playwright. There you go. What does that mean, folks? Is that part of Peter Pan? Just in case you didn't know, folks, the other, um, well, one of the many famous things about Kiri Muir is it's the birthplace of J.M. Barry, who is the author of Peter Pan, obviously. If you didn't know that, not obviously. But uh, yeah, world famous Peter Pan. The author was born here. And there's actually a statue in the town centre and also the uh, birthplace of J.M. Barry um, is down here as well. The other thing we're going to look at, folks, is the um, oldest sweet shop in, it could be Scotland, Britain, or the world actually. Oldest sweet shops are still here in Kilimere.
Right, and over here, folks, is a very old uh, street sign. You don't see many of these these days. There we go. Now, somebody's written a sign here, folks, saying the co-op. Co-op starving the poor in Kirimia. That's all about. Go and investigate. So up here, folks, this is the house where Jay and Barry was born. There we go. So Kitty is technically in, still in um, Angus, so we're okay, folks. And here's the Thrums Hotel up here. Thrums, I need to look this up and see what it actually means. I've had a drink in there a couple of times when we came up for the darts. Crocodile shoes. Bon Scott and we've got Peter Pan. Hi right, folks, we came here last week with Jag to get the keys for the uh, castle tower or Castle Hill, um, but they were out, so today we've managed to get them. And so we're going up Castle Hill Tower. Hi folks, this is the castle on the hill. It is called Castle Hill, I think. Pick the keys up at the newsagent around the corner, come up and have a look. Just walk up the stairs and the view is amazing. 
um, Seacross to Glen Clover, Glen Prozen, and all on and for her. So well worth the trip, folks. Right, folks, excellent. You get beautiful views up here. The sun's just kind of half setting over there. Um, sun's shining on the mountains way in the distance. Um, I actually see my car from here in Tesco's car park. There's a little, um, what do you call this thing? Like a direction thing. So it tells you the Reed Hall, Glen Clover, Glen Prozen, Kitty Muir, Glen Isla, Glams. Where else have we got? Balnashina. Awesome Memorial Church, Turin Hill, and Glenesque. Right, folks, I loved it up there. Just a nice little find, nice little chill out. Should have bought my flask up actually, my sandwich. Now, fit my big bulk down here. There's a lot of kind of thistles and things on the side. Um, but yeah, should have bought my flask. That was silly. Never thought. Never mind. Right, so down we go. What else is there? Can't really see. Love little things like this, very interesting. So there we go, Castle Hill. There's an information board there if you want to read all about it. The castle on the hill. So folks, Saturday night, just finished work, and look at another beautiful sunset. Look at that, folks. Stunning. And then behind me, there's the moon. Look at that, it's a full, full bright moon tonight. So moon on one side, and sunset on the other. It's beautiful.